This video is based on an article titled Preventing Distributed Denial of Service Attacks by Identifier Locator Separation. The authors are Hongbin Luo, Yi Lin, Hong Qijiang and Moshe Zuckerman. The source is from IEEE Explore Digital Library, Network. Distributed Denial of Service, in short DDoS, is an attack whereby multiple malicious hosts coordinate to flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system, causing it to deny service to its legitimate users. A recent survey shows that the number of DDoS attacks are increasing dramatically despite that many solutions have been offered. There are two main key reasons behind this phenomenon. First, due to the security weakness in the current Internet, attackers can send out packets to host and find out if a host is vulnerable and recruit them as zombies. Second, the network community does not have effective and efficient traceback methods to locate attackers since it is easy for them to disguise themselves. Therefore, in this article, the authors have proposed to use Locator ID Separation Protocol, in short, LISP, with mapping service to reduce DDoS attacks effectively. In LISP, the provider network is separated from the customer networks. They are connected through ingress tunnel routers or egress tunnel routers located at the edge of customer networks. The routers will be responsible for looking up the mapping between endpoint identifiers and root locators. The mappings would be stored in the mapping system, which will be responding to the lookup queries. As for the mapping service, let's take a look at an example when a host wants to obtain the web service that is provided by another host. After host A has sent out a DNS resolution request, the relevant details will be returned and host A will then send a connection setup request to its tunnel router. The request will be verified if the endpoint identifier of host B is associated with mapping server 2. If so, it will send out a map request and encapsulates the request. The encapsulated packet will be sent to tunnel router 2 and the connection setup request will be sent to host B. In addition, tunnel router 2 locally caches the mapping from endpoint identifier of host A to ingress tunnel router's routing locator. When host B replies to host A, tunnel router 2 can use the cached mapping of endpoint identifier of host A to tunnel package to tunnel router 1. In this way, Host A can obtain its desired service provided by Host B. From the mapping service, we can see that LISP has three unique features. First, packets can only be forwarded to a known routing locator. Second, mapping request is required if the routing locator is unknown. Third, it is possible to trace back to the attack sources as the egress tunnel router would know where the packets come from. DDoS can be prevented as attacker cannot find vulnerable host by just sending packets. The tunnel router can also identify if a host is a zombie. Moreover, attacks can also be detected on the mapping to server. CAIDA DDoS Attack 2007 dataset has been used to present the numerical results. In this dataset, about 8,000 IP address blocks have been used to send packets to the victim over a period of one hour. In this article, only packets sent to the victim are considered. The parameters for the dataset include the number of map requests to the mapping server and the number of packets sent to the victim. Let's take a look at the results from the dataset. By using the number of map requests, it only took 1500 seconds to detect a DDoS attack. In addition, the false positive rate is significantly lower at 3.85%. In conclusion, the number of map requests per second is better in detecting a DDoS attack. Therefore a well-designed identifier location separation can mitigate and works as an effective solution. LISP is expected to have a better routing scalability and improved host mobility. It is also a viable architecture to become the de facto standard. However, there are also issues that have not been addressed in this article. 
such a solution on the traditional IP networks and comparison on the current implementations that work on the traditional IP networks. This video is done by Bing Chang, Sharfir, Wendy and Ming Kok. Created using Powtoon.